Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's X Marie. So today I have a new game for you. This game was from Steam. This game is called Eight. Now, if any of you guys have ever watched Layers of Fear before, ever played Layers of Fear before, you would know that it is insanely terrifying, really creepy. I played it a long time ago when I was streaming. I say a long time ago, it was probably a couple of years ago, but I played it and I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified. Well, this game is supposed to be kind of a lot similar to Layers of Fear. I really loved Layers of Fear. I actually never finished the second one, so I may play that on my channel at some point. But if it's like anything like Layers of Fear, it will be amazing. So let's find out. So this is eight. I'm just going to go straight in with a new game. Very aggressive music, obviously, there. We've got something where someone looks like they've been drinking alcohol. Davey even took a shotgun to their selves, or someone else has done it for them, and someone has obviously died. There's blood all over the wall, so. Don't need to be a genius to realize this. Warning, this game may potentially trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy, so be careful, guys. Introduction. I hear footsteps. Maybe outside a leafy forest? Who knows? A phone call. A bird. A crow, possibly. A crow. It is a crow. I know the chip of a crow anywhere, guys. It's a crow. Phone ringing is getting louder. Pick up the phone. Hello? Hello. Good evening. I just wanted to call you with some final notes on the property you acquired. Considering the length of time for which the property has been vacant, you may need to reset the power circuits to ensure all sockets and lines are safe to use and powered on. Power. Additionally, I believe there is an extra study in the library on the first floor. First floor. I believe the door may be jammed, so be careful you do not crack the walls or door frame when attempting to open it. Oh, don't all worry, right, we won't. check on those things. Thanks we for won't calling. crack the door frames. No problem. Good luck with your new property. Goodbye. Nice. So it's mine. I bought it. It's my, my property. Some more footsteps. I wonder why at this point we cannot see a picture. Just a hole here. Just a little weird. Interesting though. You just have to be very imaginative. Imagine what the walls look like. Imagine. I think it's raining. Here we go. Ah. Okay, so we can move. It's extremely dark. In here. A little stinky. Little, little stinky stew. Alright, it's extremely dark. Cannot use a phone or interact with it in any way at all. There's some plates left out. I don't know why the previous owner would not have cleaned that away. That is disgusting. The wind is getting stronger. Let's set the atmosphere. We have a, a fire here. A nice little chair. Bottle of alcohol. Is this the, the same chair that someone got shot in? I'm not sure. We have a scary ass looking corridor here with a flashing light at the end of it. Nice. What is this picture? Just some fruit. Oh my. Oh, that's creepy looking. Oh my God. I'd rather not enter here with no flashlight. Uh, I can't see shit, so that room can just wait. Oh no, that's not nice. A dicky light. Yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, ah! Ooh. Shit, that doesn't sound good. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Work, will ya? Ha! Ha! All right, well, into the basement we go. Great stuff. In the darkness again. I need a flashlight if you want me to continue down the here. Oh my god. You're scary looking. Whoa. Goodness, I don't know what the hell is going on in here. It's so dark. Jesus, everything is so flashy. I don't like it when lights do that. Flickering and stuff. Cellar. Right. Lots of fruit, wine, whatever. Flashlight anywhere? No? 
Oh my god, there's one right there. I should probably take this with me. Well this done, is... Kareen, you idiot. You imbecile. This is a bright flashlight too. I'm pretty happy about it. Right, we have a weird... Uh, I'm guessing this is where you put the heating on. It's a very old house with the looks of things. Like, super, super old. That is locked. Okay, the more places locked, the better. The less places I have to do, the less spookies there will be. Yes, that is a bed. Very nice suit of armor as well. Nice bed there. Right, so what are we looking for here? Right. Still very flickery, flashy in here. I don't see much though. Like, nothing's really going on down here. So maybe... Maybe there is nothing to do down here at all. So maybe let's go back on ourselves and see if there was anything in the dark that I missed. Ah, yeah, we didn't look in here. Now we need the flashlight to be able to look in this room. Right, so what is that? There's something on the table. There is a key. Oh my god. Oh, a black and white photo of John and Elizabeth Nelson on their wedding day in 1920. Okay. Put that back down. There is a key as well, which is hard to see. Key added to inventory. Key added to inventory. Thank you for the key. Alright, so I'm guessing this door, uh, this key unlocks something else. Where? It's just difficult to see when you flash shine the flashlight down. Oh, is that the shotgun? Oh, I think that might have been the murder weapon, you know? Kind of weird that it's just back in the house again, though. I don't like that. And this one, are you going to be locked as well? Ah! Open sesame. It's another library. Do you have enough books? You guys have so many books. Like, do you really need this many books? Ah! I'm not going to go in there yet. I'm going to just have a look around here first. Before we go opening any more doors. Oh, there was no need for that. Really? You want lightning as well? Just to intense, intense to scarify? Is that what you want to do? All right. I see where you go in game. All right, that's fine. That is jammed. That could be the, the door that he was talking about at the beginning, saying it was jammed. It was hard to open. All right, we'll go through this one first, and then we'll go through that one. Wait, no. Let's just try these. Good, I'm glad I can't go in there. Alright, let's try this one. Wait, where does... Have I... Have I been in here before? Kind of looks a little familiar. I think it's where we first came in. Yeah, 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 it is. Okay, so it's just going to a full circle. That's fine. Just a full circle there. So let's try this door in the corner then and see where that leads us. Creep a little back room. Oh, it's the kitchen. Nice. What a nice kitchen this is. No, oh, there must be a key somewhere then. There has to be some kind of key to open some sort of door. Uh, oh, it's so bloody bright. Try this door. There we go. Don't know why my key wasn't working, but now it is, so we're all good. Right, that does put the, it did put the lights on. I should turn my torch off for a little bit because it's brighter than the sun. Right, so now we're on the second floor. We've got another door here. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely need a flashlight for them there. Use that. Thank you. Nope, no. Nope. I think we still need the flashlight. It's still pretty dark in here. Oh, God. Ugh. Slightly disgusting in here. But there is a gun in there. I cannot interact with a gun. But there is a gun in there, guys. One of the pillows from the bed is in here. Carry on. Oof. Not not a fan of these rooms, guys. Not a fan. There's another photograph there. But I cannot interact with it. Uh, very cr weird, creepy paintings again. In another room. 
Ah, oh, this is a much gnarly looking bathroom. Oh, and that leads out here. Right, so that just leads through a shared bathroom. Interesting, all right. Everything seems pretty normal. I can go out here. Ooh, what is... More books? Oh my god, it's giant. This makes me a little uncomfortable, this room. It's... I don't know. There's something really weird about this room. I don't like this very much. And there's a candle. That's a giant, giant fire hazard. You obviously do not care about your... About anything, do you? I don't see anything in here. Some glasses. A phone. Not really much going on. I'm quite happy about that, actually. I don't really want anything to be going on. There is a door down here, though. I think it was locked, but I will try it again. Yep, it's locked. Kind of happy about that. Radio doesn't work. Can interact with it, though. Ew. Right, just a little bed there. Thought that was another shotgun. No, it's a shovel instead. Another library and lots of paper balls thrown on the floor. Another photograph. Oh my god, that's a little kid called Thomas, but he's got his eye scratched out. 1965, that photograph was taken. Why would you scratch the kid's eyes out? Like, doesn't make any sense. There is a telephone. Hmm. There's something odd about the library across, across there. Uh, I feel like I might be missing something. Maybe on one of the shelves or the books. I, I don't know. Something's, something's weird. Things aren't very obvious in this game. Let's have a look over here. We've got a light switch on the wall. I will use that. One red book. Oh! Ah! Right. My flashlight down. We've got another key there. Thank you. Uh, and bloody hell, I can't. How do I read that? Okay, two relatives and Mrs. Nelson. Summary of charges on insurance, emergency SVCs. There's just loads of payment statuses and things like that on there. That's a, a hospital bill from Montana Hotel, apparently. Montana Hotel. Also have a book there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we do have another key, though, so we'll have a look where that leads us. Alright, so we've got our... We have a dining room key, so I'm guessing the dining room will be led through to where the kitchen is. I think I could be wrong. Leave the kitchen through here, over by the Chesterfield. There we go. I'm guessing this is going to be the dining room key. The dining hall, should I say. There we go. I don't, it's, it's really hard opening doors in this game. I don't actually know what it is uh, to use things. Ooh. Ah! Why is the chair on the ceiling? There's a chair on the ceiling. There is chairs on the ceiling. Why is the chair on the ceiling? Light, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is going on? Why is the chairs on the ceiling? How's that about? That doesn't work. I made a very strange noise when I walked in here, but I have absolutely no idea why. Is that a bird cage? That's that's odd. That and there's feathers. There's like feathers and stuff on people's plates. I don't understand what the feathers are about. Right. I mean, very good stacking skills, you know, very good. Uh, but this, this is not right, is it, really? I mean, what is going on over there? Lots of books stacked. Everything just seems to be stacked. Oh, oh God. shit. Oh. Oh, God. oh, dear. There's been a murder. A lot. Uh, a big, uh, a, a big, a big murder. Um, there's a lot of blood. A candlestick just hovering in the air. Oh no, it's a, uh, it's a ladle uh, just hovering in the air. Lots of blood. Nobody was the person under those knives and then they just got up and walked off. Uh, is that what happened? I feel like that might be what happened. Is this the Bible? Um, 
We need the Bible right now. We need God. We need someone. Oh, have you been mopping? You've been cleaning the house then. He's been cleaning the house. Please don't move. Ugh. No! 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 I don't need my torch, obviously. There's uh, blood on the wall. Just running down the wall. Oh, nice open corridors. That's what we like in games, isn't it, guys? That's what we like. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Open corridors. Oh, that's nice. Real nice. Welcome home. Paper is thin material produced by pressing together. Let me just do that in a second. Welcome home. Together thin, uh, moist fibers of cellulose pulp derived from wood, rags or grasses and drying them into flexible sheets. It is a versatile material with many uses, including writing, printing, packaging, cleaning, decorating and a number of industrial and construction processes. Papers are essential in legal or non-legal documentation. Well, thank you so much for telling me about paper. I did not know that much about paper until now. Thank you for filling me in. Ah! That's a lot of blood. That is a lot of blood. A lot of blood. Something very bad happens. I'm walking through it. That's so nice. Ew. 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 I don't like this. Why are the walls like that? A winding staircase. How positively wonderful. Why would you have not called the police by now? Like, why would you just be like, carrying on, you know? Makes no sense. Hello? Beds? Twin beds? Ah! Don't clean as the door behind me, I don't like it! More alcohol? You really think you needed more alcohol? Do you? Can I read that? I can. A letter. Shut up! November 5th, 1980. Contact name Montana. Bank state office address, Sutton Road, blah, blah, blah. Request bank voluntary repossession house. Okay. Sir, madam, hereby want to make you aware that you are no longer able to pay for our property and are willing to voluntarily step away from it. Voluntarily step away from it. We inherited the mansion in 1960 when my grandparents, John and Elizabeth Nelson, passed away. We have since then lived in this house, but due to recent developments of our uh, family circumstances and the suicide of my father, we are no longer able to live here. My sincere thanks in advance, James Nelson, SSN 141, blah, 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 blah. Put it down, put it down now. Put it down! Someone knocked the door. Someone here? Hello? Oh, don't like this. Why? Why the bathroom again? Did something happen in that bathroom? Oh, I'm back in the normal house. Wait, no I'm not. Oh God. Oh yeah, I am. Ugh! What? Stop it! How are you talking to me like that? Oh, the gun is there. Hello? I don't like the house. Strange. Don't like it. What is that? What is that? Not loving it. Not loving it. You shouldn't be here. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Why is the cooker upstairs? Uh, it's a washer, whatever it is. Pardon? Why is everything stacked? Why do you like stacking things? What's the problem with stacking? Stop stacking. Bye. Oh, good. Good. Real good. This is a weird fucking house. Stop it with the music now. Ugh. <gasps> Hello? What is that noise? That is really loud. Hello? Oh god. 
Oh, there's blood on the floor. I don't like blood on the floor. Oh. I hear chains or something. I hear some kind of chain. None of the doors are opening. I don't know if I'm supposed to even try them, but I'm going to do it anyway to get away from this blood because I don't want to step in it. There's handprints around the door. Isn't that nice, guys? Okay. Oh, we're in here. Did something bad happen in this room? Was it this room? I knew you were going to bring me back to this sodding library. Okay, a letter. Let's read. Hey, Dad. I know you don't read my letters. I know you don't care about me anymore. Not sure if you ever did. Chester is still with me, however. He has always been here for me. He comforts me when I go to bed, you know, even here in prison. Anyways, they have told me that you declined the offer from our lawyer to get me out of here. I have honestly never so uh, been so pissed about something before. Just know um, that when I get out of here and I will, I will kill you, you dirty, selfish bastard. Since the day I was born, you took away my life, never even allowing me to build a relationship with my brothers. Please get me out of here. Prison is no place for a human being, Dad. I ask for one last chance. See you soon. Thomas. Thomas has come to kill me, hasn't he? I'm a die, aren't I? Someone's going to kill me. I don't want to be killed. Please don't do that. I like my life. It's not great. I'm not very good at anything, but I like it. So could you just leave me to be alive, please? This has nothing to do with me. Wait, what? Has this changed again? Yeah, it has. This was all bloodied a minute ago. Ah. Uh. Oh, there's a note there. It's because my damn torch is so bloody bright. I can't see it. Hello. I miss him, I really do, but I'm not sure if I can face him there in prison. I think this is better for all of us. Um, what if he kills me? I see him in my dreams sometimes. What the frick do you mean you see him in your dreams sometimes? Oh, they've opened the door for me. What? Oh. <laughs> I went the wrong way round. I thought I was like, there's the same one in each end. Hello. Now I'm back here. I'm so confused. What the hell is going on? Now that's locked. I was in there a minute ago. Oh, that one opens. And there's something here for me to read. A diary entry. Well, here we are. The psychologist suggested that I started writing down my feelings and fears on paper. So, this feels stupid. Why can't I just talk to someone anyways? I feel like shit. Have been for weeks now. I turned down the offer our lawyer made to appeal the release of Thomas to get him the mental care he needs. I don't know what he needs. My instinct says that he is where he should be, but my heart cries every day. My heart hurts from the day he was born. My, uh, my Sally, my dear Sally, I want her back. I wish I could turn it all back. Why did he have to get another son? Damn it. Ugh. I hear him in my sleep sometimes. He tells me he is going to kill me. Sometimes it feels like he is with me when I sleep, like he's lays next to me. I feel his warmth and it scares me. He's pretty creepy then. He's like haunting me somehow. Oh good. Oh good, lots of statues. It's you guys again. I don't want to go in that bathroom because I know there's a revolver in there and it's creeping me out a little bit. I know it's in there on there and I don't want something bad to happen. Stop trying to give me your clams. Right, so the, 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 the gun's still there. Let me pick it up now. Still not allowed to have the gun. There's a box knocked over on the floor, which wasn't before, but apart from that, nothing's really... Oh, shit. Ah! No, that's different, that's different, that's different, that's different. Let me read this, please. Prison office, in medical examinations, autopsy examination report, name Thomas, John Nelson, serial number, I don't like that name. Okay, it's just telling you a lot about the, the prison itself. Ah. Uh... Oh! Oh shit. Break. Yep, that's that's the gun all right. And the blood all over the wall. Did he get up and walk off after that happened? Did he? Great. Real nice. Your your stacking skills are getting amazing, I must say. Hello? Is that a 
the letter. Alright, I am sorry I disappointed you. I'm sorry I disappointed you. I cannot read today, people. There's someone in the corner somewhere plucking a, a guitar vigorously. Don't like these statues are really creepy. These armor, I keep thinking they're gonna move. Please don't move. Ah! Oh god. Really, guys? Really, guys? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Jesus. Alright then. Eight. Thank you for that disturbing game right there. Okay guys, that's it today for eight. I hope you enjoyed the game. It was a little more relaxed to uh, a lot of horror games that I normally play. There was a few jump scares, but there wasn't anything too terrifying in that game. Um, yeah, it had quite a nice backstory to it. Well, I say nice, it had a good backstory to it that made it pretty interesting. There's a few things that I would probably tweak on it, uh, like little glitches that just kind of like, photographs when you pick them up you couldn't always see them because it went dark Stuff like that like the flashlight was a little too intense that it kind of made everything so bright and you couldn't really see so a few things need tweaking but apart from that the game itself is pretty cool let me know down in the comments below what you thought of today's gameplay and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye